Hello, friends. Uh, welcome to Yoga with Dags. I'm super happy you're here, and I hope that you're enjoying the springtime so far. Today's class, well, I thought we would work with our shoulders. I find, you know, I do body work during the day, so I'm always kind of hunched over people. A lot of people are always on their computers and kind of forward. So today we're just going to try to open that all up. <clears throat> I still have a little cough, I'm sorry. Um, but opening up our shoulders also opens up our hearts. So we'll do that with that intention too. And also just holding the intention to let go of struggle. Let go of struggle in our life and just maybe go, go with the flow and surrender and open. So we're going to begin um, in the pose of a child and just surrender. <laughs> so with child's pose, you want to have your knees apart, your big toes touching, and just you can creep your hands forward. Um, maybe roll your palms upward so that you can receive um, just allow yourself to settle for a moment and find a nice breath or a couple of nice breaths and, and just land here in our practice together. Letting go of where you were before we started and letting go of where you need to go next and just being here in this moment, releasing releasing anything that needs to be released and just finding big breaths that when you inhale, you can feel your belly expanding. And as you exhale, you're just letting the belly contract. And then just kind of creep up onto your forearms here a little bit. And we're going to inhale and we're going to sweep the left arm up and start to stretch and open our shoulders. And then the exhale, you're going to weave those fingertips under the opposite armpit and just come down and stretch the shoulder. Rest your neck. Let the other hand come forward and just breathe into that stretch of the shoulder. Let your neck be long and soft and the breath be full and deep throughout your practice. You can inhale to unweave that and exhale that hand forward. Coming back up on little hands of the forearms, we'll inhale and sweep up the opposite arm. Big breath of life. Exhale, weave those fingertips under that opposite armpit. Come to rest. And creep the other arm forward, stretching both the shoulders and let the neck be long and soft and let go. And then inhale to unweave, exhale forward. And just come forward onto your belly. Oh, good. And first, we'll just come into a nice little um, sphinx pose where your elbows are directly under your shoulders and your legs are straight behind you. And you just, it's almost like you're at a slumber party. One of my teachers once said that with this pose, and I said, Yep, that's what I used to do. So lift your heart and lift your chest and just feel as if your heart was coming forward and through your shoulders. And if you can, just gently press your knuckles forward and straighten your arms. Big breath in and then exhale, come down. 
And we'll do that one more time. Traction the knuckles towards you or press them forward and straighten the arms coming up and then coming back down with an exhalation. And then releasing the arms, we're gonna take them into a T position out by your sides. Make sure that your palms are facing downward. Make sure that it's, you're like a perfect little T here. And then take a big breath in and on the exhale, so make sure you're resting on your left cheek. And we're gonna take a big breath in and on the exhale, we're just gonna bend our right arm and just slowly start to come back onto our side to stretch the shoulder. So you might take a moment to try to find Tadasana mountain pose by seeing if you can get the base of your skull right over your shoulders, your shoulders over your hips and your hips over your feet as best you can. And if that's, you know, if your neck hurts, you can always put a block under your neck in this. That can help a little bit too. And then if you're comfortable, bend your top leg and place the foot behind the knee. And just kind of lean back any amount into the stretch. Taking a couple nice breaths. Think about your shoulder blades being nice and broad and open. And if you want to take this posture a step further, let your T arm come down a little bit and reach back with the other hands and see if you can clasp the hands behind you. And just roll a little more back onto that arm and shoulder, pulling um, the clasped hands away from the body, keeping the neck in a nice long straight line with the body and taking a breath there. Good. And then release the clasped hands, roll gently back to the belly. <coughs> And then turn your neck the other way, resuming the T position with the arms, with the hands down, bending the left one, starting to gently roll back onto your right shoulder, taking a minute to stack your body, ankles in line with the knees, in line with the hips, in line with the shoulders, in line with the neck and maybe bending the leg if it's comfortable and just taking a moment to kind of see if you can get one shoulder up over the other any amount. Taking a moment to breathe into this and let it soften open any amount. Always coming back out of the posture if it's causing you a lot of pain. We don't want to be in pain. Mm -hmm. And then when you're ready, if you want to take it a step further, we're going to creep that arm down, turn the palm up, and see if you can clasp the hands together. And just pull the arms away from the body, any amount, breathing into that stretch. And then releasing the hands, rolling softly back to the center, turning the head the other way, and just relaxing for a moment. Good. And from here, I'm just going to turn for view's sake. Um, we're going to work with just taking. Um, Bending first your right leg and reaching back with your hand to get the ankle if you can. You can always use a belt or a strap if you can't reach and just loop it around your ankle and hold the belt. Um, some people will use their pant leg and just pull the, them closer with the pant leg. You can always try that if you don't reach your ankle. And then inhale your chin to face forward, take a big breath in. And on the exhale, see if you can lift up 
that toe, the toes of the back leg and your chest into a little half back bend, just with that side. And then release that down, release that leg, turn your head the other way and bend the other leg. And we'll do that this side. So just stretching the heel toward the buttock, breathing into that, inhaling the chin to face forward, and exhale, lifting up. And a half down your asana. Then releasing that down, turn the head to the opposite side, release the leg. Then we're gonna try it with both sides at once. So bending and reaching back, chin comes forward. Try not to let the knees splay out too much. Take a big breath in. On the exhale, lift the toes straight up toward the ceiling. Let those toes lift you up. Lifting the chest up, coming up a little bit, and just taking a couple of breaths here. One more. Good, and then slowly releasing that down, releasing the hands from the legs, turn the head to the side, widen the knees, and just let the knee, the feet go back and forth a few times to release your lower back. And let them slowly float back down to the earth and just lie there for a moment. In your reverse shavasana, taking a breath or two. <clears throat> and when you're ready, press yourself back for another little child's pose, stretching that back out and the shoulders. And inhale to come up when you're ready. Excellent. And then we're going to just come into cat cow for a moment. Have your two bricks close by, medium height maybe. Um, you know, we're gonna do the cat cow where we inhale and we lift our chin and we lift our tail. And then we exhale and we carve our spine up like a cat and drop the chin and tail. So we'll do that with your breath a few times, inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling. And exhaling. And two more times like that. Inhaling. And exhaling. Inhale back to a neutral spine. Take your hands right up onto your breasts and then step forward with your right leg. Good. And then once you're forward with your right leg, just lean forward into a lunge. So you're just hinging the hips forward, the knee is bent, it's coming right over your ankle and you're lifting and opening your chest. Big breath in. And then you're gonna exhale and you're gonna hinge the hips back and straighten that front leg to stretch the hamstring. And we'll do that a couple times. Inhaling forward, lifting the chin, lifting the chest. From the, I'll just show you from the side so you can see. We're coming forward and then we're coming back. And doing that a couple of times. Inhaling forward, lifting and opening. Exhaling back. Lengthening, heart goes forward. And then hinging forward once again. We're just gonna pause there for a moment. We're gonna curl the back toe under. You might lift your bricks up a little bit. And then we're gonna straighten both legs. So straighten both legs and lengthen your spine. So try to ground that back leg um, by finding the outer edge of that back foot and take your front hip back and your back hip forward and get nice and long here. Big breath in, 
And then exhale, just bend the elbows back and just come forward a little bit for a deep stretch there. From here, and I'm just gonna show you this all from the side. You stay right where you are. We're gonna inhale and straighten again, come deeply into the feet, hands to the hips and come on up into like a little back bend. From there, we're gonna clasp the hands behind the back and pull um, them away from the buttocks a little. If you can get both hips going forward, deep breath in. And then exhale, stay grounded through your back foot and bend the front leg into like a warrior one stance and lift and open your chest. Good, big breath in and then straighten. And on the exhale, we're gonna come forward with a long straight spine and try to bring those arms up and in up. You might have to make sure your clasp is good here to do that. Release your neck. And then inhale to come up. And exhale, release the hands. And we're gonna drop, come down onto the bricks, drop the back knee, take this one back, and then step forward with the opposite leg. So once you're forward, we're gonna inhale, lift the, chest up and forward. We're gonna exhale, we're gonna straighten that front leg. Heart goes forward. Let's do three more with breath, inhaling. Exhaling. Really entering our practice here, really being present with our bodies, inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling. Once we've come here, we're gonna curl that back toe under and we're gonna straighten that back leg. Back toes are four to like 60 degrees. As you inhale, get nice and long in the torso. Big breath in, ground this back outer heel. On the exhale, bend the elbows and come out any amount over that front leg. Keep the neck soft and loose. Energetically, we're taking that front hip back and that back hip forward to level the hips a little bit. And just breathing into that. When you're ready, inhale to a halfway lift again like we were. Press into the feet and bring the hands up to the hips, elbows back. Big breath in here, baby back bend, and then exhale. We're gonna bend that front leg into a warrior one. And then clasping the hands behind the back. Let's really take them away if you can. Lifting the chest up, stretching the shoulders out, and then straightening as you inhale. Exhale, come forward, long straight spine. Arms are gonna come up and away, any amount. Release the neck. Be in the feet, be here now. Release any struggle that might be arising as you breathe. And then inhale and back up. Exhale, release the hands. Come back down onto the bricks. Come back down. And then let's put our hands on the bricks and take a nice child's pose. Ah. And release the shoulders. And then we're going to come up. So let's come to standing for a moment and I'm going to come back a bit and take it to desk in a mountain pose and bring the arms out to the side and turn the palms up and we're just going to inhale the arms up to Urdhva Hastasana and we're going to exhale them all the way down. 
And let's do that four more times. Let's inhale them up and exhale them down. Big breaths, inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up, exhaling down, and I think one more. Inhaling up, and exhaling down, good. And then we're gonna take a moment to take um, eagle pose. So ground down through your right leg, lift the left one up and see if you can cross it and maybe even tuck the toes behind. Meanwhile, think about sitting down, sitting down in the chair with a nice long straight spine. From here, we're gonna take the arms out, take a big breath in, and on the exhale, we're gonna take the left arm beneath the right, cross them as high as you can, and gently wrap um, so that you're coming palm to palm. And then lift the elbows and just sit into your chair a little bit more, keeping the chest lifted and open and the breath open. Feeling that nice stretch through your shoulders, that strength in your legs, squeezing the outer hips in. When you're ready, just inhale and straighten the leg, Re exhale, release the arms and release the leg. And you can shake out that standing leg if you got a little tired. Releasing any struggles. Yes. And grounding down, this time through. The left one, we're going to lift the right one up, cross it over, maybe tuck it, squeezing the outer hips in, sit down in your chair, sitting right straight back, inhale the arms up, maybe smile because you're opening your heart and your shoulders today. Deep breath in on the exhale, we'll take the right beneath the left. Crossing as high as you can and then wrapping. Lift those elbows up and let the tops of the shoulders be soft and just sink back into your chair a little more if you can. As you breathe and stretch those shoulders. Think about your collarbones broadening out, your chest broadening out against the compression of butt arms. When you're ready, inhale, straighten the legs, lift the arms, exhale, release the arms, come across the legs, and just take a nice Tadasana, feeling the effects of that pose. Letting go. So we're gonna do a couple of standing poses with breath and the movement of the arm, arms as well. So let's step our feet apart. Um, coming into the stance where your palms are over your feet, if you can, and just reach out five pointed star, extend yourself in every direction. Open your heart to this moment. Open your heart to your connection to the universe. Feel the crown of your head connecting up to the North star. Feel the bottoms of your feet connecting down to the earth. And then when you're ready, let's turn our right toes in and roll our left ones all the way out. So they go straight out. Take a big breath in on the exhale, bend that front knee into warrior two posture. So you wanna bend it till the knee comes over the ankle if you can. And then just taking a, a nice deep breath there. We're gonna inhale and we're gonna inhale and straighten and bring the arms up. And we're gonna exhale again to warrior two. And let's do that three more times. Really reaching up, exhaling. And one more time. And exhaling, good. And then let the arms rest for a moment. Straighten that front leg, turn those toes in. 
and roll the other ones out. See if you can get that roll happening from the top of your thigh so that your hips are somewhat facing forward. And then bend that knee again, bend into that warrior two and ground through both legs equally. And take your arms out to the side. Turn the palms up if you want. We're gonna inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. And two more. Sinking in. One more. And hold in. Turn and out. Look out over those fingertips if you can. Soften the tops of the shoulders. Find your strength. And then straighten that leg. Turn both feet to face forward. And we're going to turn the right toes in and the left ones out once more. And we're going to bend. Um, if you can widen your stance for this next one, just a little more widen it. If not, that's okay. We're going to bend again into warrior two. And we're going to inhale warrior two. And then as we exhale, we're going to lengthen our torso out over the front leg rolling this front leg open and we're going to exhale to Uttita Parsva Konasana. So this top arm, the palm goes down and it goes up by the ear. We're going to inhale warrior two without losing the bend. Exhale, Uttita Parsva Konasana. Rolling the heart up. We'll do that three more times. Big breaths, exhaling. And one more. And exhaling. Great. And then inhaling. For your two, straighten that front leg. Turn those toes in. Turn them in a little more and roll the opposite ones out. And then we're going to bend to warrior two. We'll charge our arms. We'll inhale, warrior two. We'll exhale, lengthening out over that leg. Utita Parsva Kanasana. Inhale. Exhale. Ground through that back edge of that back heel. Roll the heart up as you exhale. Inhale. Get strong and long. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. You are a warrior. We're warriors of light. We're warriors of love. We're warriors of peace. We're warriors of truth. One more. We're strong. We're filled with love and light. And then inhale, warrior two. Straighten up that leg. And both feet forward and step your feet together. Good. And just let's just roll those hips out a little bit after opening them up like that. One way and then the other. Good. And then let's just come on down. We're going to do couch pose next because that's a really nice shoulder opener. Um, so with this pose, we're going to take a breath at the medium height, kind of like this, but turn it sideways. And then if your neck allows it, if your neck doesn't allow it, you can do the second breath at the same height. But if your neck can go back, okay, <clears throat> put the top one at a lower height right up there for your head. And then we're just going to turn and we're going to cross our legs and we're just going to just going to ease ourselves back so that our shoulder blades are going to go right over the first brick and lay on it. And then just lengthen the back of your neck back to the second brick. And take a moment to lengthen your tailbone down towards your feet. And just settle there for a moment. You can bring your arms out to the side if you wish, lengthening the neck. Or you can bring the arms up and cross the elbows, hold the elbows, lift the elbows to the ceiling, and then take the arms 
over your head. This is quite a shoulder opener. So if it's too much, just bring the arms to the side. If it's too much on your neck, just bring the, um, you can either lower the first brick to the same height as the you know, top one, or if you like the lift, you can have them both at the medium height. But you're just kind of laying with your shoulder blades over the support. And just take a couple of big breaths there. Open the heart, open the shoulders, open the mind as best you can. Release any struggle therein. Big breath in. And then you can exhale, release the arms out to the side if it's comfortable to do so. Rest there for a moment. And then maybe change the cross of your legs if you can comfortably do that. If you did the arms, bring the arms up and change the cross of the arms, opposite cross of the arms. Lift up the elbows and take them back over the head again. And just let go. And then releasing those arms if you have them overhead, back out to the side. And to come out of this pose, bring the elbows in. You want to keep your neck nice and centered as you come up, just pressing into the hands and coming right up and sitting up straight for a moment. Release your neck. And then we're gonna take a little happy baby. So just coming onto your back. All right, down. And then knees up toward the chest. If you can get a hold of your big toes with your peace sign fingers and thumbs, do that. And then just let the legs go nice and wide. Bent knees and just gently rock. Rock back and forth and let go of any struggle, any tension. Just coming into your full presence. Breathing into that belly, breathing into the openness in the shoulders that you created through your practice. The openness in your heart. And then releasing the happy baby. We're gonna hug the knees to the chest. Keep your left knee in, extend the right one out, and then just use your right hand to guide that knee across the midline, coming into a little supine twist to begin to close our practice. If you wanna gaze out over the left arm, you can do that. Inhaling to come back up to the center, bending both knees, knees to chest. This time the right one stays in, the left one extends, guiding it across the midline for a supine twist. <coughs> mm. Big breath. Inhaling back to the center. And then we're just going to exhale into our final rest shavasana. Coming into a rest pose. Just spread yourself out on your mat. Let your arms be by your sides, palms facing upward, open to receive all of the beauty and all of the light and all of the love that's available to you in every moment. Just softening, we're just softening your awareness. We're just surrendering into this very moment, releasing any folding in your arms, in your hands, in your shoulder. 
Just letting that whole upper body come to rest. Releasing your belly, your hips, buttocks, legs, and feet. Releasing the lower back and the entire lower body resting. Releasing the entire torso and neck. Softening your face, your forehead, jaw. The eyes pop inward, ears move inward, nose, and tongue all gently move within. Softening your heart center. And resting. And as you rest, I'll just read a little something about going beyond struggle. Your work really begins when you release struggle. To let go of struggle initiates a change of vibration within you. This change puts you in touch with the flow of life itself which is essentially what you are. To cultivate your awareness of this flow is your real work. When you're in touch with the flow of life and you feel your heart and mind open, you'll note that a certain presence starts to assert itself. This presence changes your physical chemistry, your feelings, and your mind. It is the spirit itself starting to inform you about yourself, about it, about life, and about love. It's a simple work. So just dropping, dropping back within yourself, beyond the struggle. into the spirit, into the flow of who you really are. And knowing that you are truly held in this. And that you are truly loved. You are truly loved. When you're ready, just maybe take your knees up to your chest and give them a little squeeze. Maybe rock your head from side to side. Increasing your breath. Coming into the body. 
And with an exhalation, roll onto your right side. And with an inhalation, gently press up to find a seat where your spine can be nice and long and where you can make a straight line between heaven and earth. And then take your hands to your heart and gently bow your head to your heart, thanking yourself for showing love to your mat and taking care of yourself, body, mind, and spirit for opening, for releasing, for being present. The love in me sees and honors the love in each of you who showed up to practice with me today. Namaste. Thank you so much and enjoy your week. I'll see you next week. Same that time, same that channel. <laughs> For yoga with dads. All right, bye-bye.